mind. I've had to work for years in the media and be totally impartial doing matches and being frustrated doing matches yeah, and yeah, doing yeah. pants matches yeah. and not doing well and just seeing it as I saw and call it as I saw until I lost it in the 2014 Cup final when I was doing the commentary. Just because Jack Pats Chanter. had lost seven FAI Cup finals. I know he'd been at them all. There was actually a replay as well in there where I was the manager yes. and we'd lost 96. that one in 96. And was the, Did, the, you know the way Ferguson would talk to the bed? Um, after United lost the city in the eighties, did you ever take to the bed? Did you ever just did it drive you mad? Uh, I took to the bed once. Uh, we we there was a year where the, the League of Ireland, the FAI League of Ireland, would have been at the time introduced a season where they had a, a, a top a top six, bottom six thing, and it was the top six after two rounds of matches played against each other for another two rounds of matches for ten games, and we ended up we were on the borderline. And we were competing with Limerick for that spot to stay in the top six. And on the last day uh, of the first, of the second round of the matches, we were playing Shelbourne and Limerick were playing Cork. And we drew with Shelbourne and Limerick had a better hour result to finish ahead of us. But their match miraculously didn't get played. The pitch was unplayable in Cork, which meant that they knew they had to go to Cork during the week to win them and win the match to finish ahead of us. And I remember listening, uh, at that time I think I'd have been following it on Airtel or something like that, and cu- I couldn't believe it, Limerick were winning 2 nothing, and uh, they won the match, and I took to the bed, I couldn't believe it that night, of the consequences of that, that we're now going to be playing the bottom six teams for the rest of that season. The consequences were that the gates were going to be very poor, it was going to be very hard to pay the players, that was yeah, the big I, issue. Yeah, yeah. And that... Time. The cup finals now I did I mean I cried going home in cup finals in you know sixty seven uh seventy three, you know, nineteen eighty after Waterford, Brian Gardner's headed goal, the Rovers won the three two and sixty seven the first televised and all those ninety six. I was working on the four three with 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 Derry when Johnny Mack was manager two thousand six. Great match, probably the best cup final of all time. Ninety six when I was a manager, the disappointment of the replay and uh, you know where Eddie, where Eddie gone he missed the penalty and they got the winner not too long after <laughs> and Eddie as well forgiven for it he was a sensational player for a pass the big one was in that on the first game in Lansdowne Road as it was then we, we when it was 1-1 and shells were down to, uh, to 10 men the goalkeeper had been put off Goff had been put off Brian Flood was in goal Johnny Glynn had a shot and Brian Flood he'd he, he been able to throw your beret on it the <laughs> shot was so so yeah. and Brian Flood was in goal for Shelbourne because after uh, 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 Goff was put off and he put the ball under his arm went into the net picking the streamers out with the net from when the previous goal had been scored so he walked over the line with the ball and Pat Kelly was repping he didn't see it and the linesman didn't see it John Joyce was doing the commentary on television he said that's a goal for Pats but none of them saw it it was quite late, late in the game, and there were three officials were walking down, coming down the steps in Lansdowne Road. I was waiting for them, and I said something real nice, like, "Lads, did you not manage to see that? That should have been a goal." I didn't be shy. So I said something. <laughs> I, I said something, something much more severe along the lines of, three blind mice managed not to see that that was a goal." Mm-hmm. That was the mo- It was the maddest thing I ever saw in a match to this day in my life. I've never seen anything like it. It, it cost us the win of it. But we got beaten fair and square in the replay, one nothing. I was able to put it aside and say, well, we won the league that year. We were the best team. I'd love to win the double. I had to wait until 2014 to see Pats win yeah. the cup, and it was a great day. Did you get I your was, hands on the cup? I was doing the commentary. Which yeah, I, I remember it. And, uh, wearing the scarf like today? 2 nothing. I don't think I was wearing the scarf. <laughs> but I saw it on you one stage. I had the scarf on after the match. The afterwards, a- after, yeah. after me walk was done. Yeah, that's fair enough. I put the scarf on and down and Ger O'Brien gave me a hold of the cup. And uh, it was a great day after seeing the seven and seven defeats and the, the replay as well. I've been at all of them. It was, it, was, it was a brilliant day. And we had the same day again in 2021.